So, um, before we get started with the synth synthesizer here, uh, I want to talk about the philosophy behind the products. <coughs> um, basically, it can be viewed as a pretty esoteric instrument, and that's like the nature of modular, but we think we make something that's pretty user-friendly. Um, and we do that by having a cohesive language across the entire system. Um, and how that happens is, you know, the uh, panel controls are very bright and loud, have big knobs, um, you know, a large user interface in general. And to us, that helps with improvising on the spot and making sure we're not fumbling in any kind of environment, whether it's a studio or a live setting. <coughs> um, yeah, so we'll get started here. Um, I'm going to show some of this stuff. And ideally, um, it's, you know, we start with like the panel controls and we get into control voltage and stuff like this. How many of you are like familiar with modular? Synthesizers? OK, so most people here. Good. Um, I'm going to start with the complex oscillator. It's one of, our, one of our two oscillators in the system, and it's you know, one of our flagship products. Um, we have a modulation oscillator on the right, which essentially can be used as an audio oscillator, but also modulating the entire signal on, through the master oscillator. <coughs> um, yeah, I'll just play some sounds. And through this master section, is that okay? Um, we're able to add harmonics through this panel control over here. Add 
further control voltage because the nature of all these modules is they're incredibly control voltage hungry. There's inputs for just about every parameter, um, every ECA inside the module. And it kind of beckons you to really push that. So I can go into here. The B row now is controlling the low, high order harmonics. one example using the complex oscillator. Um, the next thing I'd like to talk about is taking this idea of the brain of the system a bit further with an envelope. Um, and doing that with the harmonic oscillator. Um, the harmonic oscillator is another one of our flagship products. It's the second oscillator in the line. Um, Essentially, we have s triangle, square, and saw outputs, but also this, this is what makes this oscillator pretty special. We have a master section which takes the fundamental frequency that you set this panel control at and gives it the eight harmonics subsequent after this. I can show you pretty easily through here. That can be used in like a whole host of different fashions. Um, but what we typically do internally is use these scanning controls at the bottom. And this is a pretty unique thing to the product. Um, essentially, you have control immediately from the panel control over which harmonics are being played. I'll just demonstrate with the panel controls. Then we'll introduce control voltage. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, eighth. You also have control over the width of this band. And also this spectral tilt. With these tools that might, like, within the system, can, in the same spirit of making a patch with the complex oscillator, can make a patch with this, and introducing like musical ideas very quickly. Something I personally like to do is sending the CV row B into the center position of the harmonic oscillator.
So with the B-Row, I can control which harmonics being played. It kind of gives me like a pseudo-random flow to the patch. In conjunction with the pitch, pitch information being sent from CV row A, it can go a lot of different places. Uh, moving on to the, mul the uh, multi envelope, um, this is our envelope. that because it goes a little deeper than a typical attack decay sustained release envelope. Um, essentially what's going on is we have these stages on the right. And these stages dictate what like hypothetically I'm plugged into the attack hold decay sustained release. These panel controls give me that envelope. I can shape in that order. So I have a steady gate going into the gates being generated from the voltage multi stage. It's going into the top section of the multi envelope. I'm going to go into the amp and tone module, which is a new module for us. By rolling off the cutoff, this envelope is shaping cutoff of the module, which is the frequency cutoff. So once again, with very few patch cables, I'm generating like an idea that's, you know, could be the basis of a song. Like I said, the, um, you know, we have the attack stage, the hold stage, and the decay stage, and the release stage. And they're all there and transparent. We can then take this idea a bit farther with the scanning section adding like musical motion and like um, accenting certain parts of the scanning section. Something that we're doing internally quite a bit is sending a pulse into the width. And that pulse is being generated from the Volge and Volge stage, stage 8 specifically send it to the width, which is going to open up the width on only on this stage. Like in the same spirit of everything in the system, it's very simple to create, you know, these musical motions throughout the patch that don't require too much fumbling. And I think that's just like the overarching philosophy of all the verbose stuff is, you know, what would you do at 3 a.m. in the club when you're patching live? Like, you're not gonna fumble like, through like a spaghetti mess or something like this. Another thing I want to highlight with the harmonic oscillator that doesn't really pertain to the scanning section so much are the VCA inputs at the base of each slider. And once again, that's a fairly simple patch that doesn't require too much.
I'm going to do that with the Vultures multi stage gate outputs, which these are outputs for the individual gates of each sub. arbitrarily coming in to harmonics. Mm-hmm. 
thing we do quite a bit is using complex oscillators left oscillator as an FM input for you know, or like any CV input. But in this context, I'm going to show it as an FM frequency. I can have some uh, time for questions or anything from anyone about like what's going on in the system. Uh, this delay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we have essentially we this delay. Like I'm just using the dry signal right now, but we have subsequent taps. You can control the levels of each subsequent tap. Uh, the master time is this knob right here. And by slowly bringing in these taps, the level of the taps, we're adding it to the overall sound. They're all spaced evenly apart. So if you increase the overall time, they're all going to separate at the same exact rate. Same thing if you go shorter. So once again, you can like very easily manipulate the panel controls.
Right now I'm bringing in the pitch shifting, which is also normal underneath the circuitry. What normally means is, like, behind the circuit, there are things patched that you don't see, and they're all coming together. Multi-delay also has CV inputs for time control. What that means is, if I bring in a control voltage signal, in this case, for the triangle wave of the complex oscillator, one has the ability to modulate the time. these ideas that we talked about in regards to the multi-envelope, which, which is again being um, triggered by the eighth tap of the voltage multi-stage. We can add further you know, CV to the time of the multi -delay. to control the center position of the harmonic oscillator. Just by adjusting the front panel controls, Specifically on the multi delay, you create these swells that are just very easy to come by within this ecosystem, but more or less very impossible to replicate in like a scenario outside of this. Amp and Tone is our new module. We showed it at uh, Superbooth this previous year. Um, I just want to go over a little bit about it. Um, it's a slimmer version from our previous module, the Amplitude and Tone Controller by 6HP. Um, it has the same exact panel controls. Um, and right now, it's shaping the entire sound from the harmonic oscillator. but like I said I have the f top section of the multi envelope shaping the cutoff of the infantone and 
also the amplitude. This module, this one and the previous version are can be as transparent as you want, but can also drive into these pretty intense resonant territories. Which in a live setting that's one would need that aggressive tone at times. I'm going to take some time just to demonstrate some of these ideas and practice and show this concept of very little fumbling and pressure. basis of all these ideas are very simple in practice and in reality, but when they come together in this like, contained ecosystem, you're able to create fairly complicated sounds and patches very little, because all these modules internally have a lot of functionality, like you don't need oscillators like it's not this philosophy of um, having a bunch of like you know, wires and things in your network. Um, it's this, this macro oscillator like ma macro module philosophy that really is the basis of the product so with 208 you're able to 208 HP able to do a lot with a fairly modest size system, which I think is pretty impressive and powerful. Yeah, any other questions?
take a little bit with the time remaining because I feel like I did gloss over a bit with the going over the complex oscillator a bit more, especially showing the mod index and like the modulation internally. Stop the sequence. So, I'm going to come out of the master output here. This section of the complex oscillator, um, like I said before, has the ability to modulate the master section. And we have access between these three waveforms, saw, ramp, uh, square, and triangle. Then you also have amplitude and FM modulation and a soft sync circuit. Um, in the same spirit of everything here, one panel control brings us up. Amplitude modulation right here. modulation on certain steps. Just as I open up the width on the harmonic oscillator with a uh, envelope shape, you can do the same thing on the complex oscillator. Thank you. 
got a lot of modules to replay here. We have the Vulture Multi Stage and the Multi Envelope doing light CV work, but the entire signal is just a complex oscillator. Six of the system here. Um, yeah, if there's any more questions, um, I would love to hear them. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. The fifth stage? Oh. This this is attack decay attack sustain release, and. It's best to hear this. So is we'll put this. This one? Yeah. This is the sustain fader that adds the um, when the small s is present. This adds a sustain stage to the um, shape. So <coughs> yeah, yeah. So. I'm going to trigger the multi envelope once again with the gate output. So we're getting a steady gate from the voltage multi stage. Then I'm going to have the signal go into the amp and tone to like accentuate you know, what we're hearing. We're only listening to the dry output right now on the multi delay. Okay. So by adjusting this, we're adjusting the decay of the sound. That's the tag. Essentially, this sound is going, it's attack, decay, attack, sustain, release. This is introducing a second attack stage, I believe. Another thing that I forgot to mention about this module is you can introduce CV into these inputs, these are CV inputs, obviously. But to me, what that means is you can have accents in certain steps.
是这个语调。So when it's these, it's hitting the eighth stage, it's opening up the sustain a bit more. When we're at the fifth stage, it's opening up the sustain, the、um, attack just a bit more. You have the ability to delicately balance the controls. In particular, with the control voltage inputs coming in, it creates some pretty unique sounding envelope shapes. And、um, this can be used on every shape. For instance, I'll use the attack hold decay sustain release. So I mean that musically has a lot of applications because we're creating accents, which in a modular instrument it can be pretty static. So by having these accents, we're creating a lot more movement. Which you know, if you listen to any music, that's the basis of it. Do is send various, like the same envelope, to different control voltage parameters. In this case, complex oscillators timber control voltage input. Just further emboldens the sound. Every CV parameter in here has an attenuator attached to it, and what that means is we're going to add negative control voltage to the panel. So if this is all the way positive, it's going to close it. Includes the、uh, intro to verbose, but if there's any more questions, I can take them. Yeah.